Hi, I'm Shaking Gaming, and today I want to talk about synergies between buffs and debuffs. On this wheel, I've attached three debuffs and two buffs. The three debuffs being burning, poison, bleeding, and the buffs being regeneration and critical hit chance. The reason for these five is that they have characters that both inflict them or buff allies with them and they have characters that directly benefit from them. Of course everyone benefits from having regeneration because if they've lost health they will regen back. But on the same hand every character will benefit from the enemy having slow on them being stunned, blinded, and every character in the game will benefit from having damage up and haste and debuff immunity. But these five are specifically being boosted by other abilities. If we start with looking at burning, we have Amara, Corcrim, and Ember. All three of these inflict burning on enemies. And all three have one or more abilities that benefit from hitting an enemy with burning. Same goes over with poison. We have four poison dealers in the game. Voron, Tanara, Phelan, Venom. And those benefiting from poison on enemies are Yogi, Amara, Venomade and Kyra. If she is paired with Venomade, otherwise she doesn't. In the bleed section, we have Bori, Snorri, Hard Dog that inflict bleeding, and we have only one character, Revol, that benefits from bleeding directly. And when I say directly, that means every character in the game that deals physical damage benefits from having bleeding on the enemy they hit because they take increased physical damage. Same goes with burning and magic damage. Every magic damage dealer in the game benefits from hitting a target with burning on them. They will do increased damage. In this way, both burning and poison, both burning and bleeding are better than poison. But the poison ignores armor when dealt. So it's a bit of a mix, uh, which is actually better. But just to mention that burning and bleeding benefits all magic and physical damage dealers. Oh, by the way, now we're at it. Hit the subscribe button. Over in the buff section, there's a lot more characters, but uh, we have Hardog, Renara, and Sinjin that buffs allies with re regeneration. And we have Sinjin, Renara, and Phelan that directly have skills that benefit uh, and get stronger if allies or themselves have healing regeneration on them. Critical hit chance gets a bit more complicated because everyone uh, increases their damage if they make a critical hit. But the specific characters mentioned in the benefits from circle, these in here, they have skills that are enhanced if they do a critical hit. First up, we have Buff. He can inflict more or less every buff and debuff on enemies, except the ones mentioned over at the right here. Then there's Solius. He, uh, when he's leading, he will increase the critical hit chance of elves. There's Sharp. There's Talana, also giving critical hit chance, being the leader. And same goes with Hera. In the benefits section from Critical Hit Chance is Thao, Kinley, Robin Bad, Ma, Wonderluna, and Nightiel. That was the short version of this synergy wheel. I will be releasing a longer one where I explain the different characters' abilities and how they benefit from each other's, uh, thus increasing damage dealt or healing done. 
Thanks you, thank you for watching. Hit the subscribe button. Goodbye.